you know, we could do a little under the shelf here. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and I am at the Goody Wheel. I'm here to see what kind of goodies they got. I'm excited because we are hunting for vintage toys today, my friends. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage Goodwill gods are good to me today and maybe we'll score some 70s toys, some vintage 80s toys, or maybe some vintage 90s toys. How awesome would that be? All right, let's head in and check it out. All right, guys, let's see, what do we got in here? We've got Picture Ica. That's interesting. I'll have to maybe look that up, see if that's actually worth something. We got this guy, this guy's been here for weeks. Oh my gosh, what's down here? Paw Patrol, helicopter, or airplane or something. Oh, what's this? Oh, those are kind of cool. Do they make sound? Oh yeah, it even glows. That's kind of cool. All right, how much they want for that? Five ninety-five. Wow, that's kind of steep. But maybe that's for both. Well, I don't know if it's for both of them or if they're each five ninety-five. They sh should be five ninety-five for both, right? <laughs> At least it should be, but no one goodwill. Those are cool. I think I might actually pick these up. And this right here, if I remember, oh, it's got a little bell up here. It's a schoolhouse. I think this is the Peppa Pig schoolhouse. Caroline had this when she was little. Hmm. And we got some Imagine Next vehicles down here. These look like something the Joker would drive. We got this ambulance. It's definitely missing some pieces though. Hey, look who's just chilling over here with the plates and cups. It's a little Lukey boy, Mr. Skywalker. No! No! Oh, one of those SpongeBob things, those look cool. Oh, check that out. It's a watch or something. Yeah, that is really, really cool. All right, guys, we scored some stuff from the Goody Wheel. All right, we're gonna head back to the bunker in a little bit and do a show and tell, but I think we're gonna go hit up another thrift store. I'm not sure which one yet, but chances are it's gonna be Thrift Giant. Wardrobe change. Yeah, so it is a different day. It's not the same day as it was just a second ago. I uh, had to go home and do some stuff. I didn't get a chance to hit up any other thrift stores, but I'm back here in McKinney today at Craptastic Sam's because I scored that G.I. Joe Mobat here, and I got thinking, well, what if there are other G.I. Joe related stuff in the back that just didn't make it out to the shelf? And maybe it's now made it out to the shelf. So I'm here to see what kind of goodies they got. Hopefully we can score some more G.I. Joe stuff. If not, we'll take a look through the bags and the shelves and see if there's anything else in here. And then when we're done here, we're gonna go hit up Thrift Giant and then we'll call it a day. So let's head in here, keep our fingers crossed, and pray. Pray, 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 pray. That the thrift gods are good to me today. All right, guys, so I thought I would hit up the shelves first, just in case there's any other toy hunters here. We don't want them getting the drop on us. So what do we got? Team Unicorn, huh? Oh yeah, check this out. We saw this the other day. I still think it's cool. I didn't get it, but I think it's pretty badass. And we got some sort of horse here with some articulation. This thing is actually from 1983. I'm not exactly sure what it goes to. Maybe we can zoom in here. Uh, there we go. 1983. Might have to look into that. I might get this just to, just to save it because it's a vintage toy. All right, what do we got here? Looks like we got a Pokemon. Not exactly sure who that dude is. And maybe some Matchbox or Hot Wheels. And here is a Fortnite figure. There's a Buzz Lightyear. And here we've got a Triceratops. All right, guys, well, I think that's it for the shelves. Let's go check the baggies. You know, we could do a little under the shelf here. What do we got? Mm, just a bunch of trash. And let's check under here. Oh, there's a tortoise. 
is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this guy probably hasn't seen the light of day in a really long time. Oh, it looks like some sort of Toy Story thing. Ah, uh, it's a Toy Story drawing board. All right, well, it turns out this is actually a Barbie horse from 1983, and it sells for almost 20 bucks. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna flip it on eBay. I'm gonna resell it on eBay or resell it on Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, I think I could probably get $15 out of this. They only want $1.41 for it, so definitely worth it. All right, guys. We scored us a Barbie horse from 1983. Little vintage in the house. All right, up next, let's head to Thrift Giant, old thrifty pants, and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. Yeah, baby. We had old thrifty pants. I hope we find something good in here. Gonna keep my fingers crossed and pray that those thrift gods are good to me today. And maybe we'll get an epic score. Maybe we'll find some vintage 80s toys. How cool would that be? All right, let's see what they got. All right, let's see. What is this one? I think that's from that movie Frozen, right? And we got a unicorn. Oh, it's actually a talking unicorn. It's got a little speaker right there. And check out this knockoff My Little Pony. I think somebody told me these things are actually worth something. I don't know. Well, it's kind of a cool looking Beerstein, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, check this out. That is kind of cool. Wow, check this out. This is a 12 inch articulated Halo figure. I think this is Master Chief, right? And with that new Halo movie coming out, this thing might be worth something. Wow, look at all these duck decoys. Dang, that is a lot. Wonder if those are worth anything. Okay, so I just found this decoy on eBay and it's selling for 10 bucks and he wants $6.99 for this, so definitely not worth it. All right, guys, well, I passed on the Halo figure, but I did get this really cool Spider-Man car. It's made by Toy State Industrial. And we're gonna head back to the house right now and do a little show and tell in the bunker. All right, first up, we've got this 1983 light brown articulated Barbie horse. Check this dude out. Now his mane is a little scruffy. It's a little mangy. And his tail, same deal. Not quite in its full spectacular glory what it would have been in 1983, but still pretty cool. And the fact that it is from 1983 just is awesome. I mean, to find toys still showing up in thrift stores after 40 years almost is just so crazy. But yeah, he is articulated. He's got articulated joints here in his knees and his ankles and then his upper part of his legs, and even his head moves up and down. So it's pretty cool. So this was what we pulled out of Craptastic Sam's. Next up, we've got this super badass Toy State International, Toy State Europe Division, Spider-Man and his vehicle. He's got webs that are slinging out of his wrists, grabbing a hold of the steering wheel, He's doing 120 miles an hour down the Autobahn. And he is about to take on the baddest of the bad guys. Man, how cool is this thing? The only downside to it is it does take batteries. And I plug some batteries in it and it doesn't work. And there doesn't appear to be any corrosion or anything on the battery leads as well. So I don't know, I'll have to mess with it a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a remote control. It might actually be a remote control, but regardless, this thing is just going to display so nicely here in the bunker. 
I'm in love with it, man. I think it's really, really super cool. All right, up next, we've got these swords, these uh, dagger looking things. And you can see they have some pretty nice detail in them and they do light up. So check this out. Kind of cool, right? And uh, so we've got these two swords and turns out, there we go. I'll have to turn the lights off and let you see that really glow. But turns out these are actually from the Disney movie Raya. And I think I saw them selling for about $10 each, so about $20. I paid $10 for both of them, which was very expensive considering it's Goodwill, it's a thrift store, and they get their shit for free. But uh, I wasn't sure what they were, and I didn't want to pass them up if they were actually worth a little more money. Turns out the markings that were on them, you can see them here. This is how I found out. It's actually made by Jack's Pacific. The Goodwill sticker was covering this up, so initially I didn't know who actually made these. But let me turn the lights off so you can get a little better look at these things glowing in the dark. Okay, and of course, you know, it's not like super dark in here or anything like that, but we should be able to see these light up a little better. Yeah, check that out. That's very cool. And I think that actually has two settings here. There is uh, the on off switch right here. Let me see if I can get that on a different setting. We'll switch it all the way over. I wish they would actually glow. Well, maybe they... Oh, they're kind of like lightsabers, I see. So like if you're actually doing battle, they will light up. So let me go ahead and turn this one on. There we go. Yeah. That's cool. That's super cool. And then I also ended up with this SpongeBob SquarePants watch and this Plankton watch. So we're going to open these tins up and take a look at the watch on the inside. All right, here we go. So this is the SpongeBob and this is the Plankton. I just like the cartoon art on it, which is why I got them. They're actually not worth anything. I think they're worth just as much as I paid for them. And if I recall, I think I paid $5 each. For these. Whoops. So, the watch part, this is actually, this piece here is actually, uh, it can flip in and out. It's hard to do it with one hand. Let's see here. There we go. See how you can flip it around like that. Hey, that wasn't too bad for one hand. Hey, if you thought that was all right for one hand, comment below. That was good for one hand, burf. <laughs> so, but yeah, so these are the watches. And unfortunately I don't have batteries in them yet. So they're not functioning, but I did like this art on them. I thought it was really cool. Well, hey, if you enjoyed watching this episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That really helps me out. And check out this next video. I know you're going to love it.